Everyone knows Stanley Steamer for cleaning their carpets, but did you know they also do grout and tile cleaning and upholstery cleaning? Well, we're going to learn more. We're going to talk to Earl. I think he's already on the inside. Come on. All right, Earl, we're going to start in the kitchen. And um, I mean, everyone keeps their tile nice and clean, but it's the grout that's the real trick. So why should people worry about cleaning that grout? Well, grout is porous. It soaks everything in. When you walk in from the outside, you think it's on your feet, it's filling into those pores. And then most people get the cleaners out. Right. When they get the cleaners, everything sticks back to the grout. And that's when you need us to come right. clean it out for you. All right, so you guys have special processes that can, uh, that can do all this. So maybe walk us through what you guys actually do. We spray a cleaner on the floor. We go over it with a grout brush. It almost looks like a big old toothbrush. We scrub every single grout line. And when we do that, it agitates it. We go over it with another tool, and it actually pressure washes it. Pressure washes it at 1300 PSI, and it sucks all the, wash, all the water outside. Well, and by the time it's done, I've seen the before and afters. I mean, it's an amazing difference. Uh, looks fantastic, but I would imagine that, that doesn't hold up if you don't, if you don't seal it up. No. You want, to, you want to put a sealant on it. It's, um, the sealant we use is actually called an impregnator. It soaks into the grout, and it fills up all the pores of the grout so things can't soak into it. So then, I mean, if you were to drop a glass of red wine or something really um, that would typically stain, that, can, that keeps it out? It fills up all the pores so it doesn't have time to soak in. Now, if you wait a long, long time for it, it eventually will right. soak in. So clean up those spills, everybody. All right, and once that's done, do you need to repeat that process again and again, or how does that work? You normally want to get your grout cleaned in the high traffic areas once a year. Um, you don't have to seal it every time. You can seal it every other time but at least get them cleaned once a year. All right, all right, so the next step, we're gonna talk about upholstery. Next run. All right, Earl, on the upholstery side of things, um, maybe tell us to start with, why should people have their furniture professionally cleaned? Well, normal vacuum, you can't get out everything. Um, that's what you really need for us to come in with our furniture tools to Get everything out. All right. Now, do manufacturers recommend that, that you professionally clean your furniture? Uh, the furniture you use on a daily basis, they recommend once a year. The furniture you use on every once in a while, every other, every other year you'll okay. be fine. All right. Uh, for people that are not familiar with how this process might work, and I'm sure it's different for different types of furniture, but maybe give us the general process that you, got, you, that you use to clean upholstery. Well, we vacuum a piece from top to bottom, getting all the loose dust and dirt out, and we go over with a furniture tool. It's much smaller doesn't use as much moisture, and it's a lot easier. All right, now this does, though, get your furniture wet, so is it a while before you can use it? It's usually about three or four hours. You're able to get right back on it without any issues. All right, now what about odor? Because this is something, whether it's from pets or from smoke or from whatever it might be, uh, does this take care of that kind of thing as well? No, you do need to deodorize it. Um, cleaning itself has no odor-removing capabilities. Okay. Now. Um, for people then that get their furniture all pristine and looking great, is there a sealer similar to, to what we talked about with the grout? Can you seal it and maybe protect it a little longer? Yes, we use a product called Super Shield. It's designed to keep the sand and dirt from sticking to it. Plus, if you spill things on it, it gives you more time to get to it before it comes a permanent spot. For people, if they want to get in touch with you and maybe uh, put you to work for them, how should they go about it? 1-800-STEAMER or you can go online at stanleysteamer.com and set up your appointment there. All right, well thanks for spending a little time. You're very welcome. I appreciate it. So whether it's for duct work, grout and tile, upholstery, these guys do it all. Check out their website, it'll give you a broad view of what they do. It's stanleysteamer.com, check them out.